I can't believe we're playing this game. We just finished the Arkham series recently, and I decided to play the Batman Telltale series. Now, I've only played Wolf Among Us. Really good game, by the way. I love how Telltale tells their stories. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily love how they tell their Batman stories, but we're going to give them a chance today, guys. So hit that like button if you enjoy this video. I truly appreciate you guys for watching all of my content, supporting it. You guys have been amazing so far. Thanks for checking out all of the Batman stuff in particular. I've been enjoying all of it, so I think I'll be enjoying Batman Telltale also. But um, with that being said, let's just jump into it. All right, hopefully we make the right choices. Hopefully I actually make choices like Batman. Am I a good Batman or am I going to be a bad one? We're going to find out. City Hall. That's how we pop off? Sheesh. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? Bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Gordon! My friend Jim! The hell? Back! Get back! Gordon. They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Ha <laughs> ha! I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, got them. Oh, too. look at it, it's Harvey oh, Dent. All right, let's go. Ooh! That grapnel is awesome. Everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. That transition to Bruce was, oh wait, what? Whoa! <laughs> Look how fast he is. That's Batman. Oh, look at that. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh. 
That's kind of scary. Oh! <laughs> back to back, circle up. <laughs> Batman's moving quick. <laughs> Smoke bomb. <laughs> Where are you going? That was a nice battering. Look at him. That's a cool shot. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! God, that's so brutal. He got up after that and still wants to fight? Stay down. You obviously can't win. The combat's pretty cool. The other. Whoa. Jeez. Oh. Catwoman. Behind you, big boy. We got this. succeeding criminals are becoming afraid of you so are the police it's a scare tactic Al. just a performance alfred does look different like that where's the mustache without a scratch so far i like catwoman's suit though that doesn't belong to you i was wondering if we'd cross paths you broke the law here I am. Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me what? A villain? Sounds fun. She's gonna remember yeah, that. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's <gasps> dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. Okay. Her voice sounds familiar, though. I feel like I know the voice actress for her. Ooh. Ooh. She's got the whip. Watch out. No. Oh, I almost messed that up. Why we got to hit her, though? I don't want to fight her. I like Catwoman. Uh oh. Ooh. Why 
Why you do this, Batman? Don't do her like that. Come on. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> oh, we got you, girl. Hold on. Where are you going? Nowhere. That look she just gave us. She's mad. No. Okay, Gordon's got our back. She's kind of slow. Not even a scratch. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Why I missed one of those. That trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. <gasps> Who just shot? God he said, "Don't shoot." I said, "Don't shoot." You idiot! No, wait. <sighs> what was the point of him shooting? Gordon, you need to teach your officer something. Cause they're kind of dumb. Got her. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you got to help her. Hold on. You're about to kill her, Batman. Hey. That was a good way to break the fall. Get her, get her, get her. Oh my God. I have so much anxiety right now. That was a lot. That was action packed though. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. I'm not gonna say anything. It's been fun. Okay, pull her up. Bye, Bat. Oh, she had it. She just had to. Yeah, he's shot. You gotta be watch yourself. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Got his mom and dad in the background. Oh. RV! Time to save the city. So in Batman Arkham, we didn't get to see it, but him and Harvey were supposed to work Thank together you. to save the city. Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. And Bruce made a for promise long, to Harvey. Cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Uh, welcome to Wayne Manor, I guess. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey is built. Y'all see him? Look how big this man is. That's 
a strong jaw. Thank you for opening your That jawline is crazy. Now I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you I alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. So they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> hey, yeah. You can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'm just going to drink to that. I have nothing well, to say to him. With courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me oh, like how about ourselves. make Gotham great again? Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. Our hope is in right, Harvey. Right. How about, uh, our hope is in Harvey. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. <laughs> Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Not the make Gotham great again? Hey, I'm saying! I do like how we get to play as Bruce Wayne, though, not just Batman. That is nice. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller, Bob. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. Oh, well, that's After good. All, whoever you support is a reflection on you. Oh, that's and not we good. we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but... This night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. <laughs> You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every wow. penny to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. That is messed up. It was up. terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. Oh, look I'm at Bruce's sure face. It was a tragedy, truly. 
and I will fight from City Hall to make sure nothing like that ever happens again. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. That yeah, wasn't too bad. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Is that who I think it is? Oh, it is! It's Vicky Vale! This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Was that a good idea? I don't know. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But not you. What are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Hold on, hold on. Even better now that you are here. Hold if on. All these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Oh. oh <laughs> Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Was I? Oh. Um. Is that blood? Yikes. Yeah. It looks like. Uh, cut myself shaving. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Wow. Kidding. Kidding. Not funny. Please excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Oh, oh no. Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. That's not good. We're working with the mafia on this? And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Oh, Tony requested to speak with you directly. I'm a trust Harvey, though. Maybe you can change your mind. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously, you know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Yeah, sure. I didn't think I was going to risk her up like that. I didn't mean to do it like that, guys. I'm sorry. High ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. What? This is my place. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man. All flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Is that Troy Baker as Bruce? You're a respectable man, I hear. Oh, shoot. Shake his hand. Bruce Wayne. I know Dang. who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Yeah, they're going to remember that. Gentlemen. Perhaps we'll all be more that was probably a bad idea. I don't know. Because if he's seen doing something wrong later on in the game, people are going to remember that I was working with him. Raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's private audience? That is Troy Baker. Okay. Come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring uh, this back to you soon. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Wow, why are you treating him like that?
Mr. Dang, they put Mr. that man in the corner. He wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I don't know about that. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. What? Or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. I'm for just God, doing this for Harvey. For our city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. What do you mean? You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Get him out of here. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. It wasn't for sale, you Sure. Whatever you say. Title drop. Harvey is voiced by Travis Willingham and Catwoman is voiced by Laura Bailey. Okay, that's that makes sense. I was like, I've heard Catwoman's voice before. We're in the back cave now. It's me. Oh, look at the Batmobile. Realm of Shadows. The Monarch Theater. I remember that in Arkham. That's the theater that he left with his parents, right? 
on the night they died. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh, I can walk around. That's Jack Ryder. chemical again but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it they're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke and one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning the body of falcone family capo louis pistachio carmoni was found hanging off the side of the fourth street bridge what just before dawn hanging That's not good. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's What is this? Codec entries. Founders of Wayne Enterprises, my parents. Dad was a physician. Mom was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expanding their vast resources to improve the city and its citizens. Murdered in an attempted robbery by a man known as Joe Chill. Now, I didn't know that. Two more patients have gone I didn't know that guy's name that murdered them. The total of Wayne Family Butler. Faithful, patient, ever helpful, Alfred. He's been a part of the family my whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. He's my butler, my confidante, and the most sec uh, secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Gotta have an Alfred in your life. A new friend and the best district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save this city. I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality. Hamilton Hill. He's the current mayor of Gotham. Exhibit A and what's wrong with the city. Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the core and one day the city will realize it. Harvey's out there doing his best and hopefully this upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. Cat Burglar, new criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She is effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Oswald Cobblepot, AKA Penguin. Look at this man. He doesn't even look the same. What the heck? This is not the Penguin I know. Arms dealing, illegal boxing matches, receiving stolen property. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England and there are paths diverged. He seems to have fallen into a life of crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet and a strange nickname. The Penguin? What happened to you, Oz? Oh, okay. We saw him at the party. I just didn't recognize him. He does look like a nice guy. James Gordon. He's a good, by the book cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He was recently tapped to lead the Major Crimes Task Force. An impressive promotion. So he's doing something right. I think he could be a trustworthy and reliable source of info, but I'll need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man, so he's not willing to take necessary risks on the street. That's fine, I'll take the risks. Vicky Vale, one of the Gazette's most ambitious and competent reporters. I've read her stuff. Some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been with the paper for a while, covered all kinds of beats. 
someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. Hey, Vicky Vale's kind of hot in this game. Carmine Falcone. The worst kind of gangster, one who tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. I could haul him to jail, but he'd walk the next day. I could shut down one operation, but two would pop up in its place. His empire is vast and multi-layered. Finding hard, admissible evidence is required for a conviction. This city is like a living creature. It's always growing outward and upward. The people who live here are survivors. They have to be. And they deserve better than the corruption that infests this place. Arkham Asylum! Hey! Gotham City's only maximum security psychiatric hospital for now. Outdated in every way. Building is falling apart. Equipment is antiquated. And the staff's methodology leaves much to be desired. When the Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital opens, these patients will finally get the treatment they need. Multinational corporation founded by my ancestors, covering all manner of manufacturing and finance. I inherited a major uh, majority stake from my father, but I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day operations. However, the R&D resources have been helpful in pursuing my private interests. And we know what those are. Oh, check this out. We can look at the suit. The suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has... Aw, look at his face when he looks at the tickets. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city... I'm sorry, Bruce. What else do we have around here? Let's look at the gadgets table. a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. We need a crime trace detection skimmers. The newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Well, you kind of didn't let her take that. She just took it from you. <laughs> she was just better. Find the edge. Could be sharper. All right. He said, "I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message." Building for this. Oh, wait, no. Now on day three of the factory fire that will not end, crews have given up trying to combat the blaze. The Dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante actions sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at a city hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilantism in Gotham, from the uptick in citizen-led shootings to the costume superhero Batman. Dent is currently enjoying a surge in popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog indexes in the state. His groundbreaking Victims Assistant Program was part of the platform that drove his most recent successful bid for re-election since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26. Police Lieutenant tapped to lead task force. Oh, this is when Jim got promoted. Gotham City Police Commissioner Peter Grogan appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a major task force after criminal chatter in the Gotham underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon insisted that we are aware of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing en masse in our city. At present, they are unknown, but not unnoticed. We will find them. Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the USMC before joining the GCPD and has quickly risen from the uh, through the ranks. 
he has frequently stated that the Marine Corps made him the man he is today. I didn't know he was a former Marine. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. The charitable arm of Wayne Enterprises, headed by Robert and Regina Zellerbach, has announced funding for a new mental health care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, oftentimes deadly, prisoner escapes. But soon, that will no longer be the case. The Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital, as it will be called, will offer a mixture of maximum security confinement with modern mental health care practices to truly heal those who are suffering. Ambitious plans are already underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and implement a critical program of rehabilitation and release. In theory, that sounds nice, but is it going to work like that? I guess we'll find out. Oh, I didn't look at the cowl. Graphic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. But you can actually leave? Can I go check out the Batmobile? That thing is beautiful. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's the stuff. Yeah, it is. You you ain't wrong. That is the stuff. Look at that. You heard that? Sheesh. We can make a dent in Gotham's crime. You gotta love the pun. Okay, let's put that in here. I want that car too. That car is freaking awesome. The twin exhaust, you saw that? The thing is beautiful. Let's find out what was so important. Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. This is the man cave. In front of a computer. I'm I like more this cave. Than the rest of the house. You know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. <laughs> sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. What is that keyboard? That looks confusing to type on. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <laughs> hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. Alfred's hilarious. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. I bet. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I don't know, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. 
A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I'll stay out of sight. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Well, whenever Harvey calls, the guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. It really <laughs> isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed... That's what you say day, now. So did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. Right. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. Listen to Alfred, please. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. Aww. Okay. I know you're only looking up. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. But <laughs> Imagine! <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Okay, let's take it. Six AM saw eyes. It's been what twenty years? Last time I saw him. There's a comic where Alfred is Batman. Thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints. That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. It's not a coincidence. You might know something about the break in. This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, by the way. I really appreciate it. Cobble Pot Park. This is a nice park, I guess. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the parks here in California. Where are you? I wanted to look at that newspaper, but I guess not. Can I go back? Why does he walk like that? Ooh, I knew that was going to bite me in the butt. Yikes. I know, he looks so rich. <laughs> I'm gonna give this guy some change. This is the least I can do. Uh, thank you, sir. He literally looks like he just left the office. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, great. Well, there's the statue, but 
No eyes. Is that his dad? Just look at this shopping cart. The graphics in this game are pretty good. Like, I actually like the art direction. Hey. Beat it. Who is that? Watch wallet cash. Oh, this, this guy, I just talked to you. you. What the? Hey, you heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? I've got nothing. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And him. Oh, word. Gentlemen. Oz. There he is. Walking, all right. This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, in the moment. Come here. Think that'll do? Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We're teaming up with the penguin. This is crazy. Uh oh. Get that gun out of your hand. Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Uh oh. Oh. This is my park. Mine. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Yeah. Good as new. <laughs> What a clown. Ooh, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. Wow. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Ooh. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I'm gonna let him vent. And what's left in this flask. I'm, I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Balcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Me too. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... 
It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Jeez. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. That was dark. That was depressing. going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. I mean, that's definitely Penguin, though. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like what? Said, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. Am I getting through to you, Bruce? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Okay, then. I wanted to stay quiet on that. I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Press conference for new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on south side of park. I do like old short penguin though. But at least his attitude's still there. They definitely nailed down his uh, personality. Look at that car. Okay, what I? We pulling up. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Yeah, I gotta walk Anybody in with a smile, you know. Cars? I mean, mine isn't fast, and the paint's rusting off, but. Boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Oh, crap, Alfred. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Call Asylum you? is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Uh, uh... My parents would be honored. My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. Yes. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Oh, Vicky's there. I needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, my hope is in Harvey to make sure a night like that Never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. That speech was really depressing. Thank you. 
With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? It's days has passed. I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. It's true. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your ah! house. You even shook his hand. Oh, no! I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. I hope I answered that right. Remember? Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm sorry, Alfred. I'm sorry. But Mr. Wayne, this morning, the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly what? are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. No way. The betrayal ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I thought Alfred said he didn't like people like him. I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, Fake news. Is, all your money dirty? is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Fake news. Do you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, how long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Bro, we're cooked. Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control is my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I what the heck? I'll questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Ah. Uh... Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. Yeah, the I know. Inside the manor. The police? Bro, I'm cooked. Falcone set me up. What are they doing to my house? What the? Hey, hey, careful. They're taking all my Put stuff? I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? Not Mr. Gordon. Gordon. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. You're making a mistake. There's got to be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. What do the you expect to find? Extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. And what do you expect to find? It's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. I got set up. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. That's what it is. As long as Mayor Hill. Mayor, the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words what? whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Well, I don't, obviously. He can't just be coming in my crib, taking my stuff, dropping my stuff, breaking my stuff. Aw, not the picture of my parents. I knew that was coming. Whatever you want. 
God! You... you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... No problem. Uh, I don't want to be mean to her. It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my oh? connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. I'm scared. I'm gonna do it. I like her. She's giving me good advice. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. I'm here! So let's talk about that private tour. I mean, You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. Okay, well, no, she's about to be a love interest. You can already tell. And I love it. I I'm here for it. it. Everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this. On the anniversary of your parents, it's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. That's no good. Now Harvey doesn't look good. Oh. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over. He's my friend. I have to believe him. And he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. 
I mean, what could he possibly hope to I think it's Falcone. Other than a few cheap headlines. Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fun No, he didn't. Oh, God, what a mess. And he would definitely have the mayor in his pocket. I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. Yeah. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. Oh, you got a black eye. Hold on. You might be... Catwoman. <gasps> you didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Oh, yeah. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not going to fall. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham. Introducing her to people. Yikes. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. We know what happened to our eye. What brings you to town? So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. What is it you do? So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? Only fans? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? <laughs> I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know. The back and on. forth, I love it. Uh, the cattiness. Yeah, it's there. Hey, it's Harvey. Uh, hi. Dang, the way she's looking at Bruce. She wants to rip his head off. Oh. Nice to meet the real you. Oh, she knows. Likewise. Likewise. We're gonna we're gonna keep it at that. We can be friends with her. A lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. Ah. Uh... Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. That's not good. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. I'm sorry, I didn't want to tell her. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Okay. These people I'm working for, 
They don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. All right. I'm gonna help her. I help. You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Can't do that. That's a no-go. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address now. No, give me the drive. Okay, please always helps. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? <laughs> Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? We're working with her. That's good. You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're going to straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. She just had to say that, didn't she? Don't screw it up. This is good so far. I'm definitely enjoying this. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. All right, here we go. That guy was toasty. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good Lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh my God. Ah, I didn't think we were going to see that in this game. This game has been pretty tame. I didn't know it was going to have Analyzing. body parts. It's a volatile chemical, potential psychoactive nerve agent, vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. I'm glad we actually get to do detective stuff, though. That that excites me. Nothing left to bury. All right. Oh, you can like connect them. Oh, that's cool. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. That kind of reminded me of uh, Arkham Origins a little bit. When you would recreate the crime scenes in that game. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Yeah, I remember them. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. No.
What is that? Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Oh, I see. What about this? White Rose. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Yeah, I love it when they show him as an actual detective, too. I think that's the best part. No. That bad? Face slashed. Jeez. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes, then. Not at all. What's in his pocket? Skyline Club. This guy's burnt up. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What? what did this? What is that? Oh, jeez. He's actually going to pull the bullet out. Oh. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Is there anything else on him? Bloody hands? Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Is there anything else in here? Does this have to deal with the canister in here? Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Oh, what's this? Just pallets? Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Yeah, he's tampering with the evidence. Yeah, right. Yeah, is he allowed to do that? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Area devoid of explosions. Scorch marks indicate something was here when the blast occurred. Is there anything up that I can look at? No. What about these two? Doesn't add up. So we already figured that out. I forgot about the bloody hands though. Maybe these two? Because if he has claw marks on his face, maybe it was from this cop right here. A cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. 
force someone to do that. The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Then just link these two together, right? Someone drove off after the explosion. Oh, there's a big truck in here. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone be leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been he a sacrificed a lot of men. Of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No. But based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Ooh, go to work, Batman! This is what I like to see. I would like to see a story about that. Batman dealing with a prosecutor that's like, none of this stuff is submittable. Oh, that'd be funny. Tampering with evidence, no chain of custody. We need Batman, cross law and order. <laughs> Facts. Let's go over here. This looks like a pretty interesting spot to snipe somebody from. It's kind of believable. What is that? At tech. That's pretty cool. For a spike, clear vantage point. We have a winner. Yep. This is the right spot. So, where did he go? Maybe down some more. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. I love how he changes his voice. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's scary. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find them. What a clown. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. <laughs> oh, hanging them up. Imagine seeing that Batman Batman what it's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal Give me a reason to stop You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop mm. all on the inside Tell me the plan what the heck I start swinging If you're gonna hit me hit me Let's intimidate him. Tell me. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive at the container number we needed when she flaked. 
So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Uh oh. No! Stop! You, you can't do that! Well, then talk! <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I mean, I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You're bad! Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna let him go. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send a cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. I talk to him? Hey! Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. Thank God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told we did you good. We did good. Kill me. What are you waiting for? Arrest him. Good to see you too, Gordon. You know each other? Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Woo! We did good with the confession. You assume the persona of a bat. But you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. What man? I didn't beat any man. Didn't raise you this way, and neither did I. He's still alive. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> he what? Next time it might be the morgue. Especially now during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. This game is cheating or something because I didn't beat that man to death. He's fine. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it. My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. That's an L, Alfred. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. It's a well-known glitch. Well, that sucks. Old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I That's wish true. I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. Don't tear them up. Don't do that. No. I won't forget. Yeah, and put I those away. Lie. Well, back into the fray again. What else we got? We got some codex stuff that we can read. We got here. Oh, they're like updates, huh? I have Harvey looking into why Mayor Hill has seized my assets. For me, I should be more concerned that his new friend, Selena Kyle, is the Catwoman. Facts. 
It turns out her real name is Selena Kyle and she's friends with Harvey. But more troubling, she knows I'm Bruce Wayne. This will need to be dealt with soon. I like how it brings the new stuff to the top so you don't have to like scroll down and read it. It turns out he's back in town looking to restore his family name and he's targeting Carmine Falcone. Still not sure what his plan is, but it's going to be trouble. I was able to point Gordon at Falcone, saving him valuable time. Montoya may not completely trust me yet, but I'll let Gordon assure her. I gave her a quote to help defend my family's name via the media. That's the only way to get out in front of this scandal. Falcone's goons acquired explosive chemicals in a heist at the docks. After an interrogation, a suspect admitted that Falcone plans to use them soon. But how? Is it a weapon? What's going on on the Gotham feed? Uh-oh, Julia Martins is writing some fake news about me. Corruption rumors tarnish Wayne family legacy. The Waynes have long been considered one of Gotham's most respected families, but new allegations have tied family patriarch Dr. Thomas Wayne and his wife, Martha Wayne, to the illegal business dealings of the Falcone crime family. If true, it's possible the Wayne family's staggering fortune, estimated to be in the billions, could be seized by authorities pending an investigation into their current business practices. That would be a blow to hair. Bruce Wayne, who has continued his father's practice of using the money for philanthropy. However, Dr. Wayne met a violent end as the victim of a random street crime two, de two decades ago. While there has been no comment on the allegations from Wayne, he did hold a private meeting with Falcone crime family head Carmine Falcone at the Wayne family's Gotham City mansion, which is only adding to the speculation. That's not good for me. A daring raid on the City Hall office of Mayor Hamilton Hill ended last night with a massive rooftop brawl between Batman and a mass cat burglar the police have dubbed Catwoman. The battle resulted in a heart-stopping plunge off the side of the building, which left Catwoman's fate unclear. However, her team of mercenaries were apprehended by authorities. Neither the GCPD nor representatives of the Hill administration have revealed what, if anything, was stolen from the mayor's office. Despite the outcome, many have begun to wonder if Batman let the burglar go free. We can't outsource our safety to anonymous people in disguise, said Gotham City Police Commissioner Peter Grogan. You can never trust whose side they're really on. But I'm on your side. Well, looks like that egg finally- Apparently I tortured him, Juju. Yeah, what- side, Mayor Hill was hiding- They lying on my name, the slander. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms stealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. And it goes back years. It's some kind of blackmail? You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. <sighs> This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Jim. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. I wonder how old Barbara is Vicky in this. Gazette. Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Oh. They gotta give me a choice here? Really? I like both of them. Me and Jim, we've been rolling. Hey, but hold on though. Jim listens to Mayor Hill a lot. And I don't like that. I don't like that about Jim at all. Vicky 
hasn't shown me anything that I distrust about her yet. Yet, that is. She seems kind of on my side. Whereas Jim doesn't. Jim might be on Batman's side, but he's not on Bruce Wayne's side. Hmm. I'm going with Vicky, man. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever yep. Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. All right. I hope that choice doesn't bite me in the butt. I mean, we could put her in danger. This is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's going to be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. <sighs> what this could do for the city. My career? We could boost her career up. Wondering what the cost is going to be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. Oh, no. I run this story. I put a price on my head. That's not good. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. I could be putting myself in real danger by trying to expose him. Publish it anonymously. Anyone can do that. Accountability gives the media its teeth. <clears throat> and that's sorely lacking in Gotham these days. I always think... Crime in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head... Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. Lieutenant Gordon. He there it is. Badge in the right place. There it is. Oh, I hope that's enough. Sometimes the rest of the force, they... They have their own agenda. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not that's on what I'm every saying. screen in Gotham where it belongs. Right. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Does this turn into the Batmobile or what? What's going on? Well, I can always change in the car. Oh, yes, sir. It's like a transformer. That's fire. Now the Batmobile sounded a little too light for me. I like how it sounded in Arkham. It had that bass. Skyline Club. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. Why does that look like a rock band Which drum pad? Maneuver the drone around the outside of the Skyline Club to scan for Falcone's location. Good point of entry. How does that guy not see it? <laughs> Tell me a 
another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> so, uh... Funny. Are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Whoa, okay. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Yikes. Did you make your rounds? Yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. But check out the modern art. Looks like a Rubik's Cube. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. I see what you did there. Maybe the office right there? That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. of options for taking this guy down. Seated, talking to a woman on sofa, distracted and unprepared for action. Okay, this is kind of cool. So we're planning out how I'm going to attack all these guys. That's kind of fire. This is really good. I'm loving it. All right, what about him? This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. That should be all of them, right? Have you formulated your plan of attack? Uh, I think I'm going in. Going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. All right. Here we go. Let's make it count. Oh. Oh. Knocked him out. Yo! Get him! God, right in the face? He's alive after that? Everyone's dipping. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I don't think so. Drop that gun. Oh my god. Oh, that's a big boy. Goddamn 
That's a big gun. Oh, you shot your own guys. That's terrible. Show yourself. You got no goddamn right to be here. I see you. I want Gotham, and a masked monster like you is not going to stop me. Yeah, sure. I've heard it before. Nice. That was really cool. Oh, I know that hurt. How about this one? Okay, Tony Montana. You can't sneak up on me. That EMP. Yeah. Get your goddamn hands off of my suit. I, you know who my lawyers, my lawyers are. I'm a respectable businessman. I've heard it before. Do this to me. I sure can. Stay down, Falco. We can end this now. You've got a lot to learn, kid. Kid. That's not good. Ooh. Let's do it. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Uh, right there. <laughs> he was a little too hype. It's over. Are here. But someone what are we going to do about that? Trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, oh, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ah, Gotham. What a joke. What a place to crawl. You know Batman's gotta do this. He always does. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. It's the wings. What? What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, that can't be true. The Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> oh my God. It might be true. What? There's no way. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire. Oh no. You train your officers how to shoot. Man, that was crazy. That was a action-packed episode one. It definitely left a great impression. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level tonight. 
The Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. <laughs> Though I say the crime boss getting his is well overdue. Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. We love it. And we love to see it. Newly uncovered criminal dealings. This brings me to the story everyone is talking about: the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as that wasn't me, baby. As his parents. In that wasn't me, fake news. Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the supposed truth. hero. The I've been saving this Gotham city for years. The Wayne's time in the sun. Ending. Whoa! He's not happy at all. The suit, the car, this entire cave. Uh oh. Bruce? Everything I built, I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, things done turned up. Things done turned up. It is time. We gotta play episode two. We Come on, y'all. We gotta play episode two. Okay, let's see what happened here. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? Okay, we did. Most people did, it seems. All right, most people seem to provide a quote for Vicky's story. That's good. Ooh, this one's almost 50-50. I was one of the people that didn't break his arm. And I still got yelled at. I should have broke his arm. Why not? I was going to get yelled at anyway. We should give the Falcone data to a lot of people chose Gordon. I was in the minority there. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. See, that makes sense. Everybody pretty much picked like Batman. Batman would do that. So the only one that was questionable was me giving the data to Vicky Vale. That's unfortunate, guys. Well, at when least I'm being different. Died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully, Did she get a promotion? Something useful out of it. Uh oh, Cobblepot. Hell of a view. Why is he even Bruce, there? The Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham? I have to distance myself I will romance along with anyone who stands in my way hey yo am I in a harem now am I gonna be flirting with Vicky and Catwoman 
That'd be insane. We're going to beat episode two, then we're going to end the stream. But it seems like each of these has like five chapters, so they're pretty long. We're pretty beefy. We'll be here for about an hour or two. Is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. The Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Oh, man. Your father knew which hands to shake. Well, I know what hands to bake. You know not to corner a wild animal. And he got baked. It's dangerous. Oh. I know that hurt. I bet. I'm mad that he punched her that hard, though. Why are we doing this that? Is Selena. That was uncalled for. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? It's the Waynes. Fake news. I don't believe it. Are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. I mean, that has no context to it. Just because he was at the house. He was at the house earlier and we didn't agree with him. So his parents might have did the same thing right there. But all we saw was them sitting in the room with him. And we're taking his side of the story. Which, come on. We can't believe him. Yeah, where is Talia? Is Talia not in this? You, you don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. This is Crime Alley, boys. I thought I might find you here. Shaking my head. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. This can't be true. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. Dang. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. What do you mean, Alfred? I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. Well, I'm not corrupt. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Right. They greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Dang. Nothing it is true. In Gotham without them knowing. They work together? Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, but not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. Dang. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. It was that bad? But then they were killed, and you 
were all alone. And I just no way. Walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Ah, we're still family. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Right. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Aww. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. Hmm. Maybe someone got careless. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Are we going back in time? I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents killer? The possibilities are frightening. On second thought, perhaps I don't want to know. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. He was stabbed to death in prison? Jeez. Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. Very true. that movie. Saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. Aww. Imagine. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. His mom sounded so nice. Oh, they saw the mark of Zorro. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Maybe not. Was a mistake. Someone did get careless. Dang. Dang. 
cooked his mom and his dad. By the mom too, though. Oh, uh, he heard the police sirens and ran. I see. He was gonna kill everybody. Are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Jeez. Okay, so I'm I'm finding out even more about the Waynes because I didn't I didn't know anything about this. They worked with Falcone. They've always painted them in such a bright picture, like in well, in Arkham they did, at least. And you don't really hear Batman talk about this in other pieces of media, from what I've watched. Getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. <laughs> and I appreciate it. I get that heart, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. Last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. It's not a main canon I'm, idea. I'm that makes sense. Blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me. Just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. We all help each other out. One hand washes the other, Lieutenant. Is that how it works? Of course. Otherwise, everyone has dirty hands. What he means is, we'll repay the favor in kind. I'm gonna call you on that. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you. Despite what the media is saying. Well, that's good. Thanks, Sergeant. Does she support Batman, though? Because she was shooting me. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you got to say. We'll be out here. Episode two, baby. Hope you guys got your snacks and your drinks. Children of Arkham? The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah. <sighs> So that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, 
We're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you? You showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. It's a damn shame, you ask me. Convince me, then. Tell me a story about our big <laughs> family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Yeah, let's go with that. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? He doesn't look too happy to do that. Hurt him. Don't do that. We're not here to hurt nobody. 40 years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How okay. Much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> Not gonna say anything. She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. What, you really think I hired Jill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? Right. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Yeah, like, like I don't trust you. That oh! What the oh, actual... F hell. Girl! What are you doing? The bastard had to die. Holy. Oh my god. Get in the air. Stand down. Wait, wait, Get wait. Doctor. Secure this floor. No That's that psychotic stuff, huh? She got Go. hit. Go. You can see the veins on her face. Falcone's dead, bro. He got cooked in 8K. Shit. I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close. We were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. Oh, it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Yeah, I issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Someone planned this for a reason. Right. But even if that's true, the simple fact is she gunned him down in his hospital bed. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. 
I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. I have to interrogate her? This isn't going to be fun. Alfred. Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm going to try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Okay, let's look. Her veins still visible beneath her skin. That's no good. Fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. I was not expecting that to happen whatsoever. Wow. That was zero to a hundred. I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Geez, she doesn't know. She doesn't oh, remember. This awful feeling something terrible happened. Uh, everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Did she encounter anyone? It's so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. Jeez. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to. No matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. They were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. Dang, of course not. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm guiding me like a parent with a child the voice it was saying something about revolution revolution cobblepot said something similar he did jeez oh my god i hope he doesn't have anything so to do sorry, with this Lieutenant. that would not be good let you down. All right, we stalled falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back so how is she did she tell you anything yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falco. <sighs> hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. Well, that's not much to go on. Not for you guys. Bring forensics in. Let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Vicky's here. What, What's the job what like doing? now? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown. I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. What do you Word mean? There were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Oh, don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going Good job. on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. I feel bad ignoring her, Let but... Me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but uh... you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. 
I'll give her something. Sergeant Renee Montoya. Wait, Sergeant Montoya. You didn't get this from me. Please. She keeps prying after I helped her. Girl, you already got it. When does it stop? Stop consuming. Nah, I'm I feel good about picking Vale. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. It's Whoever not. Did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Hang, Alfred. Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Right. Here's pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. That's one hell of a drug, though. Imagine if you could do that. That's not good. That's something you don't want on the streets. Let's try the docks, like the water area over here. Oh, wait. Oh, might be over here. Is that Ace Chemicals? Not over there. Oh, right there. I still love the purple vibe. Hey, hold on. Why y'all hating on the purple vibe? It's beautiful. Oh, right there.
The Skyline Club. Yeah, he was there. We saw that Skyline towards the end. Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Oh, he sure didn't. Did speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's got to be Batman. The Batman. Yeah. Let's go. Are oh, you like purple too? Okay, that's good. Purple's cool, man. I love it. That's cool. I love that gadget. Look at that one guy. He looked like a vampire or something or a gargoyle. Like, what's going on with him? An orc? He had a lot going on there. Let's get him. Jeez. You lot, come check out this office. What the heck is that? Where is he? I don't know. Whoa! Or you can join Batman. Let him go. Batman. Solomon Grundy. Man, Bat. You kill a crime boss. You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry. I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. I said, let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. And did it. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know from personal experience. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm going to let this one go. Good. How's about we talk this through? That sounds good what to me. What do you do with Falcone? Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What? What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? You're going to attack the mayor? That's not going to happen. Attack? Absolutely not. Mayor Hill's role has been decided. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. What the heck? I found Catwoman. What do you want with her? Yeah, what? A deal. She didn't make good on it. Oh. oh sorry, this didn't work out, she was dealing with him? I would, stay watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes. Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> That's not good. I can smell this thing's breath. Let's go. Jeez. Why are they running? We got this. Oh, he smiled. That was an uppercut, though. That uppercut was kind of mean. Where'd he go? Where the heck did he go? Oh, he's out of here, I guess. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Y'all saw that? That uppercut was kind of mean. That was a Mike Tyson one. 
For real. I need to talk to you urgently. Stacked deck, 6 p.m. No capes. Why no capes? <laughs> the way she looked at me. At least he doesn't look like a rich guy anymore. He's got a nice little hoodie on. You know, he's looking all right. Oh. Tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. I'd love to play the Deadpool game. It seems fun. I might play it soon. Cops raided his house. Sorry. It's a A new twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, <sighs> you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, a jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. Good idea. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Flash money like that in here, you better be ready to fight. I got customers who knife a man for less. Selena Kyle, where is she? Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? Oh my god. Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low lying type. Are uh, you around? I buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our... Selena with the ponytail, though? Problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. I'm sorry things went down the way they did, but I have information. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. <laughs> Penguin. Penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly, you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. You don't know what you're getting into. You grew up together. Up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. She's not wrong, though. Stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right. If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together. Oh no, that's his girl. An all work and no play kind of girl. That's his girl. Harvey knows that. 
You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. Oh. You and I. Oh, Kaden. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Uh oh. That's no good. We're here for her. We're gonna do this together? You care about your own skin? You'll get the hell out. I have to fight. I said leave. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez. No, sir. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh, okay, we got team moves here too. That smile. Here we go. Who dropped him through the table? Uh, how about here? I know that hurt. Not done yet. The music is perfect for this scene, though. Oh, back to back? I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Okay, working together like this? I love it. Here we go. Okay, that reminds me of Nightwing a little bit. Let's do it. Whoa. Okay. You fight pretty good. The dynamic duo. Such a pretty boy. Let's check his pockets. Ah, cell phone. Come on, this way. Check the alleyway. Can't see anything. Negative. Let's check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're alone. Hold on, girl. Don't scratch me again. You already did it once. Let's get out of here. Oh, f I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. I got rejected. When will I see you again? <sighs> when you least expect it. You shouldn't trust me, you know. That's true. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? 
There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Yeah. Would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Oh. I kind of want to go in as Batman, though. That's cool how it transitioned into the bat suit, bro. That's fire. I don't know which one is better, to be honest. I feel like you can't really lose with either one, to be honest. But that's the thing is you got a real Catwoman in a little bit, but then later on, we're going to back off. You feel me? We're gonna start rejecting her now. It's like, oh, well, I, I tried to go in earlier. Now I got to play hard to get. Let's go in as Batman. Going as Batman is the sure bet. Yeah, I love Bruce Wayne, but why would I not want to go in as Batman? He's cool. <laughs> Batman has the public trust after taking down Falcone. Try not to throw it away by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm a light touch when I need to be. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Deborah, you incompetent. Dents up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm cutting your pay. Deborah, Who's that? Cutting your pay? Deborah. What a jerk. Was that you? You know who I am. It's time we finally met. Oh. oh. That's wild. Batman? What are you doing here? That suit is shiny. You know who Penguin is. I think, what is that made out of silk? So I've heard. <laughs> so what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You're leaving out a few details. <gasps> I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne! There's the real problem. Mm. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies, his status, his fortune. He should be held accountable. What does Penguin want with Bruce Wayne? The atrocities that occurred at the hands of his father. He only wants to expose the Waynes for the criminals that they are. <gasps> Where is he going? Security! Oh. Pick up, goddammit! They're not picking up the phone. <laughs> Don't kill me. I've done nothing wrong. Why come to you? Because I knew about Arkham Asylum and what was done to those poor people. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. 
until Thomas locked them up. What? Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. With enough money, you can make anything or anyone disappear. I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <laughs> no. Please. Don't. <laughs> you can tell your story to the police. See what they think about it. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Yeah, okay. Finally, about damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! Smoke bomb. I'm out. I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father. It must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Yeah, what the heck happened? Indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you. I just don't get it. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Man. What else is on here? All right, let's let's check. Uh. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. I bet he wasn't. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. Are they gonna set up bombs or something? I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. None of that matters now. The only thing that does is stopping ours. The city needs you now more than ever. Right. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Please do, Alfred. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's More I hear about my father's life, the worse it gets. It's bad enough he had a business connection to the likes of Falcone. But Mayor Hill eluded him sending innocent people to Arkham Asylum. How do you know more about what happened there? After all these years, Alfred revealed things to me about my parents I had never heard before. How my father engaged in corrupt business dealings with Carmine Falcone and Mayor Hill. He claims he kept this all from me for my own protection. Whatever his reasons, I still have questions that demand answers. Thankful that Harvey was able to pull strings to get me access to Falcone. Despite what happened, I may not have gotten everything I wanted from the mob boss, but at least Falcone is no longer around to poison Harvey's mayoral campaign. The Batman paid the mayor a visit. He folded like I knew he would, but what he revealed is troubling. He'll confirm that my father was indeed involved in the corruption from years ago. Locking innocent people away in Arkham Asylum. He even put away Oswald's mother. That's the part that I just don't get. I rushed to warn Selena that Penguin was coming after her and ended up trying to kiss her. He's a criminal by trade and I should keep my distance. Yeah, I can't seem to help myself. <laughs> we both have to be careful though. Penguin is dangerous and he won't hesitate to exploit our personal connection if he discovers it. I introduced Penguin to the Bat. Not surprised he would be a fan, as strange as that might seem. The Penguin is obviously working on some bigger plan, but Selina is the one in immediate danger. After what happened with Falcone, I don't intend to underestimate him again. 
After what happened inside GCPD's own headquarters, it's apparent that Gordon and his department are going to need all the help they can get. Whoever drugged Montoya and got her to kill Falcone did it right under the lieutenant's nose. He may be disdainful of Bruce Wayne, but he needs Batman now more than ever. I gave Montoya's name to Vale. I know Harvey and Gordon would be angry, but I see Miss Vale as an investment, and the press can be a powerful ally. Bacconi is gone, killed by a police officer's bullet. However, his fate doesn't make my life any easier. His criminal influence over Gotham may be over, but I still don't have the answers I wanted from him. He manipulated others for years, but in the end, he became the victim of someone else's manipulations. I love this because you get Bruce Wayne's insight on everyone. It's like a little journal. Jim Gordon says she's a good cop, true blue were his words. Yet someone got her to murder Carmine Falcone in cold blood, turning her into a pawn to further a mysterious revolution. Unless I figure out who's really behind the killing and why, she'll unfairly take the fall. Carmine Falcone and Mayor Hill are the root of that corruption. They claim my family is involved too, but that can't be true. And these ones are all the same. Okay. Someone has to stop Falcone. Gothamites have been patiently waiting for mob boss Carmine Falcone's incarceration for decades. For some, that patience is wearing thin. The police can't touch him. The police can't touch him. God won't strike him down. And I'm paying a fortune in taxes for what? Said downtown shopkeeper Samuel Slater. So when a local television station aired dramatic footage of the Batman incapacitating Falcone, only to be driven away in a hail of police gunfire, some wondered if the police shouldn't be thanking Batman instead. As far as I'm concerned, let the Batman do what the courts and the police can't, Slater com commented. His frustration is well justified, having filed an extortion complaint against Falcone over a decade ago. This complaint was dismissed for lack of evidence and Falcone again walked free. Police raid Wayne Properties. Gotham City Police carried out a massive raid on multiple properties connected to billionaire Bruce Wayne yesterday, including Wayne's multi-million dollar mansion in Bristol County. According to a source close to the investigation, GCPD was acting on a warrant to seize assets and files related to Wayne Enterprises. The company has recently come under scrutiny after possible mob connections and other corruption charges recently came to light. Wayne Enterprises chairwoman, Regina Zellerbach, strongly disputed the allegations in a statement telling the Gazette, Wayne Enterprises is happy to cooperate with authorities in this matter. We have every confidence that they will find no evidence of wrongdoing. Latest polls show Dent and Hill tied. That's not what we heard earlier. New poll numbers find incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent locked in a statistical dead heat as the race for Gotham City Mayor heads into its final weeks. Both men hope their upcoming televised debate to be held at Wayne Memorial Auditorium will be the event that gives one of them a lock on voters' hearts and minds. Experts find the latest polls results surprising, considering the deep well of resentment many voters have against Mayor Hill and the vast resources Dent commands. A suggested points to possible overconfidence on the part of the Dent campaign when assessing Hill's perceived weakness. They're even talking about that. Oh wait, yeah, Vicky wrote this one. Carmine Falcone, the notorious Gotham City crime boss, has been killed while in police custody. Reports say Falcone died from injuries sustained in a shooting that took place inside GCPD's downtown headquarters this morning. The identity of the killer or killers is still unknown and no one in the department is talking. Anthony Gotti, Falcone's attorney, told the Gazette, there's a conspiracy of silence and we're going to sue everyone until someone starts talking. Falcone had been in police custody less than 24 hours when he died. He was apprehended by the masked vigilante Batman the night before. She didn't talk about Montoya at all. That's kind of good. Nine out of 10 residents described Gotham as unsafe or dangerous, and seven out of 10 said major changes need to happen soon 
or they would move away, even if it meant unemployment or other hardships. Oh, that's terrible. Inter interestingly, Batman appeared to evenly divide readership with half of respondents saying he made the city more secure and the other half saying he made it less secure. It looks like they want to move on. Now that Falcone is dead. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Okay, that thing is fast. Harvey needs to get out of there. Maybe the Batmobile does sound cool. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's, well, it's not exactly pleasant. Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Oh no. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. Oh no. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of kill if you ask me. Uh, look, Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but my advisors are telling me that I need to, <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. No. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good op- I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press and now this mess with Falcone. Oh. You're a liability. Yeah, he is, but you're going to get blown up. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but you want I me to, to keep me afloat. Yeah, keep I investing. I you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. Ah. Uh, no matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I, I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I, I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Ah, uh, this is scary. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember, you are always my friend. This is not good. I mean, I'm happy that we're friends, but this isn't going to play out well. I can already tell. Batman. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. Just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, shaky. Listen to me. The excessive violence, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. You're lucky I'm on your side. Now that may be true, but I can't ally with a violent thug. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? That woman's here. She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. 
I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. You don't owe me anything. Those scum had it coming. And they say chivalry is dead. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. <laughs> I'm dead. He's not wrong. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates. Is that Vicky? I think I see Vicky. ...and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. There's Batman. Whoa. That was nice. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon. We found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn sons of Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. I love the mask, though. Firing the moderator. Holy. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Um, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. <gasps> You'll do. Get out of here. No. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yeah. Vicky. <laughs> Thank you for Wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Okay. I'm so nervous right now. I'm gonna let Catwoman get him. Yeah, she's gonna use that whip. Sounds fun. Maybe this. Come on, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We're putting in work. Good job. Can't let him do that.
Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My double brothers and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. Who is that? We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that root in your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Let someone else get their hands dirty. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go on, you. love. You know what to do. <gasps> no. Oh. <gasps> That's not good. Ah, vents. I was wondering if we were ever going to use one of those. We're out of time, Batman. The brass is going nuts with those two drunks on stage. Oh my god. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. This is terrible. Thomas, we were friends. We both play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. What? What? This isn't real. Jim, what the heck? You put your guys in danger. Batman, you certainly know how to make an entrance. Oh, nice, Vicky, go, 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 go. Yes, let's go. Get out of here. Hey! Nice to see you. All right, we're back to this. I got the drone this time, though. Oh, he broke that pretty easily. Ooh. The punch. Got him. I took out Thomas Wayne. That, that, that. That was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. What? What in the plot twist? So this is for her. He's dead. Oh, nice, Harvey. Let's go. Oh. Oh my God, Harvey is built though. There's chaos happening, guys. What is this? Harvey should have been able to take him out. 
He doesn't miss a day at the gym, it looks like. Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter. And he didn't yes. even turn up. Harvey's weak, bro. Batman! The revolution's already started. It's too late to join. <laughs> Let him go. Let Dent go. And what if I don't? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that. Watch out! <gasps> <gasps> Too many people are getting hurt, Batman. This is no good. No, they're not. I gotta save Selena. Ah, but Harvey. I'm not happy right now. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While well, several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. But this is this is what's supposed to happen, right? He's supposed to be two face. Oh my god. I mean, this is canon. He won't be the same after this. He's already cooked. He got injected. Meanwhile, Let's be the honest. The family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. He brought her back home. No. Lawyers he cooked his friend's Bruce face no and then he took his girl. I don't like that outcome. Man, let's see what other people did. Did you ease Falcone's pain? Yeah, we okay. A lot of people did. Did you kiss Selena? Apparently, a lot of people tried to, <laughs> so I'm not in the minority there. Hey, everybody loves a good love story. That's just how it is. That's just society. Did you visit Mayor Hill as Bruce or Batman? Most people chose Bruce. That's an interesting choice. Why not Batman? Did you withdraw your funding for Harvey's campaign? Most people didn't. Only like 8% didn't. Did you save Selena or Harvey? A lot of people picked Selena over Harvey. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I guess that wasn't really his girl, but you know how people are. Like he was dating her. You may have saved me. She didn't make that happen. clear technically to him. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. 
With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What? Girl. Do you even know what you're saying? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No, no I hard, don't. But for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! Man, we gotta find out who this new villain is. All right, then. Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the Don't worry yeah. you in hell! Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. I'm not believing it, man. Everything. I'm not buying the it. Two of us working together. I do love this little ship here. I think the romance is great in this game. Let's get out of here. But just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. I know. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. I messed up so with Jim, man. Sorry, ladies and gents, as you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Just brutal. Uh, we need a new moderator. You there? Yes. Yeah. Thank you for volunteering. My downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. I forgot about the children of Arkham, yeah. Man. The situation sucks right here. Harvey Dent is huge, by the way. Why is he so big? He's built like a linebacker. Like, <laughs> like he's two times the size of Bruce. Like, Bruce shouldn't be that small compared to Harvey. Gotham General Hospital, 8.45 p.m. Mayor Dent. You know, I always assumed Harvey would win, but not like this. Oh, so he won? By default. Oh, by default. He's probably pissed he didn't get his landslide fair and square. True. Hey, Harvey's going to be okay. You don't know that. I just, I keep wondering. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? Oh. Harvey's your best friend. I'm nothing to you. I just don't get it. Fine. Forget it. Oh, no. I might have forgot. I messed I up, guys. This. What are you talking about? I don't want to see what... I just can't, okay? I have to go. I'm sorry. Wait, he I'm needs you. Away. Harvey needs you right now. Do it for him. Please. I'm sorry, Bruce. I wish I could. You can it's my fault he's in there. I don't have anything to say to him that would make this better. Ah. Uh. Don't tell him I was here. I don't think he'd understand. Ah. Uh. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Mayor Dent was sworn in from his hospital bed. Word is he's still recovering from major hey, injuries Bruce. sustained at the event. Oh man, 
I'm so sorry. Harvey, I am so sorry this happened. Hey, come on. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, I'm sorry anyway. I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, my family, we heal quick. Could be fine. Hey, I'm, I'm sure it'll heal up nicely. You'll have some scarring, but it won't be that bad. <sighs> Optimism, right? Scars are cool. Rugged. Manly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, oh! Well, my mother and my secretary. Ugh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's Selena! Oh. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Harvey. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Guess I can't blame her. Ah, uh, I can't rat her out. You'll hear from her. Yeah, she's probably just busy, hasn't had a chance to come by yet. You'll hear from her. <laughs> Easy for you to be optimistic about women. Pretty sure no one ever loses Bruce Wayne's number. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Look at me, preaching at what a great guy you are while I go and get my face bashed in. It's easy. Every news station is showing it. Just regurgitating the same old sound bites. Don't do this to yourself. There's nothing you can do to change what happened. Replaying that moment will only drive you crazy. Facts. I know that. But here I am. Trust me. You need to stop. I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. Couldn't do anything. Ping would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. Let's let him vent. Yeah, I can... I can still hear him laughing. What they did to Hill, to the moderator... I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Ah, oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. Gotham is in real danger. All the more reason for me to stand up tonight and give the people hope. Wait, wait, wait tonight? I, I thought you were supposed to be recovering. My assistant is on her way to pick me up. With the election, I was able to talk the hospital into releasing me early. What? Not that they're too happy about it. Like that? All the doctors keep telling me to take it easy. But how can I? Well, stay in the chair, Mr. Dent. Oh, don't overexert yourself, Mr. Dent. Do what you need to do, Harvey. I know how important this election is to you. I gotta be supportive. I'm glad to know that someone around here understands that. Come on, you do the same in my position. Which is why I won't even try to tell you to not look into those tapes. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot. Hill admitting to having both of them killed. It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. Well, I'm not even convinced that tape was real. It had to be fake. Doctor to look like something else. Taken out of context, yeah, maybe? Right. Might as well take a lot to prove that to the public. <sighs> look, I, uh, I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign. I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. You did what you had to. You don't have to explain yourself to me, Harvey. It was the right call for the campaign. I get that. Still, I abandoned you when you needed me. That's not the kind of friend I want to be. Man, he's a good friend, though. Let's what is be that? honest. Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. <laughs> And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. You can... You can stay if you want. 
It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. He just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. You, uh, you rest up, Hart. Thanks, Bruce. And this situation is so screwed up. I feel like I just made all the wrong choices, man. And the game is supposed to make you feel like that. So I guess I shouldn't be too upset. I'm kind of thinking about like what would have happened if he didn't get his face burned and I saved him. In pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. You got me. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad it got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Not a bad idea. I'm impressed. So this is the first time that he saw the bat symbol. Then. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. She's a good cop. Let's help her. One of my best. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I, mean, I never heard of them before. Then that debate. Oh, they're tearing up the entire city. You want answers? Ask Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? I'll bring him in for questioning. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? What now? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Lucius! Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? A little busy at the moment, Jim. Say no more. Hey, back up. All right, Patrick. Give me some space. R and D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman. So listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls, like X-ray peering. Oh, nice. I'll think of a better name. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? Probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Let's listen. Barrels of this stuff to transfer. And not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight. So it's gotta be done. You wanna argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! Dinner. I hope she doesn't die. Headed to the construction site. Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. 
I'll uh, round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. I figure we should help out the cop. Episode 3. Corner of 15th and Main. New World Order. Several armed suspects on the loose. That's cool. We got to see the bat symbol for the first time. Is she all alone? Jeez. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh, nice. Nope. Look at this guy. Oh, I caught it. Good job, Batman. Oh, wait. That's crazy. Nice. It's over. Drop the gun. Look, I promise I'm not going to shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but... I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Those guys had me pinned down. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I... It's okay. It's in the past. I forgive you. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. I'm glad. I don't know what I was thinking coming out here alone. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. Good instincts, but you need to think things through. Be patient. Don't rush. I may not be there to save you next time. Yeah, I owe you big for this one. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. The chatter sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's got to help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up on this. Well, at least we helped her out. That was an awesome action sequence, though. The action sequences are pretty fun. They're well thought out. I like the choreography. Are you all right? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on Harvey. Bringing it up now. Debra, get down! <gasps> Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! Wait, what? What did he do to who? You'd better get down there. On my way. This isn't looking good, guys. Is Harvey starting to turn evil? Oh, look at the mask. Oh. Jeez. That's creepy. He says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that. Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? What? I would have arrested him. You're wrong about me. I'd have put him in jail. So unless you're making a comment on the justice system, I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You think any of us are buying this recent nice guy routine? We've all heard the stories about you. I haven't been good lately. At least this one died quick. But I haven't killed anyone, though. Handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, command. to command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? what? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. Gordon! Gordon, come in! You can't help me! 
Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. I think we're starting to see Two-Face. And that's not going to be good for us. Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> We're gonna make it right. We'll fix this, Alfred. We'll make it right. We just have to stay focused. Yeah, I admire your determination, sir. Just be careful, Bruce. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? That's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. I'm excited. there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh, I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Oh, this is unexpected. To what do I owe the pleasure, Regina? I'm sorry, I just needed to clear my head, sort things out. In my office? I know it's irregular, but it's nice to have a reminder of the Waynes every once in a while, in all their glory. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Oh, no. Whether to dismiss you or not. That's not good. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... Makes sense. Logistically. The company needs to separate itself from the Wayne name. It's a cowardly move to look good for the press. I wasn't expecting you to roll over so easily, Bruce. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down. I wasn't going to argue with it, though. You worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce. You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. I appreciate the sentiment, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. Perhaps now... More than ever. I yeah, should head down. I agree. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. I didn't want to argue with her. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be reasonable. Oh, unlock lab access? Oh, that's cool. Look at that, man. I think Lucius Fox has the same voice actor as the Arkham games. It seems like it, at least. It's 
good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. You can't afford to lose their resources. I don't need to worry about the board. I've got plenty of money. We'll make do. Yeah, plenty now, but still not enough for all of this. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Oh no. Give me the bad news. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. All right. Uh, you see this back door they're using? I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. Oh no. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. That's a good idea. Tell Gordon to break his calm. Dang. Now that's unfortunate. I can fortify it, but it's going to take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm going to keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. I see he has a wife and kid. And that picture in the back. Check for upgrades and then hide your bat tech. I can do that. Well, let's look at the photograph. Uh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I oh, he has a son too. To come, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Aww. That's sweet. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Lucius is the brains. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Oh, I can't wait for it to be ready. Look at the cowl. Thermal vision. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? What? That's so cool. Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Excuse me, sir? She might have stolen my heart. That's what he means. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. That's cool. Boom. Nice. We're going to have Be fun careful. with that. Those things pack a serious punch. Oh, he took it. I can watch the news. Let's see what's going on. 
Massachusetts Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. Who are the children of Arkham really fighting for? Who is Batman really protecting? Because it's not us. What? It's time that we, not masked vigilantes and violent fringe groups, fought for ourselves. I will fight every day for Gotham. And I ask that you join me. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures citywide. He doesn't seem to be on our team, does he? At least not Batman's team. He likes Bruce Wayne, though. Kind of. Is that it? Nothing else to check out? Nothing else cool in here? Okay, I'll talk to Lucius then. So, anything new? This is going to take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Well, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. Now, before you do... Here. Get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Lucius is so cool in this one. He's so sweet. I wish him the best. I really do. Let's close it. The night, huh? Mr. Wayne. Ruth. Open up. I wonder why the night. I thought maybe you left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Oh, no. Effective I need the people. money. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. We were out of options, I'm afraid. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. No I'm way. Sorry, I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. At least I was nice to her. Thinking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Harvey? What? Oswald, Bruce, what the f- Good to see you again. Okay, hug him. Play it cool, play it cool. This is some bullshit. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. Yeah. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. Oh, yeah. A better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past. Happy to help any way I can. 
people aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine, Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. Ha, oh, I has bet. complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. I hope he doesn't find my room. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. Oh. No trouble. Right, Bruce. Pick it up. Now. Pick it up. But, uh, it's all right. Bruce has been through enough today, hasn't he? Oh. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. Ooh, I, I wanted to punch him so bad. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'm at a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. I know you, Oswald. I know what you really are. I'm no different than you, mate. Just a hard-working citizen. Looking out for Gotham. I doubt that. This way, Bruce. Yeah, okay. Bye. Oh, I'll be back. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Oh, man. That scene where he dropped that... That thing that Alfred gave to Bruce. Mm. They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. He took it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You'll know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But I can't risk Cobblepot finding out what I'm up to. Come work for me. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Whoa. Thanks, Lucius. Nice. That's exactly what we needed. Keep that drive safe. All right. Well, Oswald seems to be the new CEO. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow. Didn't see that coming. We'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. At least I have you. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Aww. Always. Aww. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, Lieutenant Gordon. He I love their relationship. To be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin slippery, all right. 
With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Let's go into the Codex. Let's see. My parents' dad was a physician, mom was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expanding their expending their vast resources to improve the city and its citizens, murdered by a man known as Joe Chill, deceased in a planned assassination. Isn't oh wait. He complains frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Ah, uh, you gotta love Alfred, though. I wonder how Harvey would react if he knew it wasn't just Catwoman I saved at the debate, but Selena. He was itching to get out of that hospital, regardless of how much pain he's in. Typical Harvey, showing off his smile to ease everyone's minds. I worry what will happen if he keeps pushing his own problems d deeper and deeper. He'll give the tape of my father gaslighting Esther Cobblepot to the children of Arkham. It proves my father's criminal dealings, but for Hill, it was too little too late. While I'm glad to see Hill out of the picture, I would have rather had Batman handle him instead of the Penguin. Murder and justice are never the same thing. Selina was a true asset during the debate. She's one of the smartest people I've encountered. And she's proven again and again to be a valuable ally. After we've grown so close, there was no way I could leave her behind at the debate. I just hope she's willing to help me take down the children of Arkham and their leader. I didn't realize how dangerous the Penguin could be until the debate. He shot Mayor Hill without a care in the world, though I should probably expect the unexpected from Oz. There's nothing left of the best friend I once had. And with Cobblepot and the CEO chair of Wayne Enterprises, everything I built is at stake. Jim and I are on rocky ground. I haven't been delicate with the children of Arkham members I've encountered so far. What he doesn't understand is that my methods led to results. And any tactic that will help take down the children of Arkham is fine in my book. She's had a rough time, especially after getting roped on stage with the penguin at the debate. I'm just glad she got out of the theater safely. She's the only reporter that's been defending my family name in the press. Falcone is gone, killed by a police officer's bullet. However, his fate doesn't make my life any easier. His criminal influence over Gotham may be over, but I still don't have the answers I wanted from him. He manipulated others for years, but in the end, he became the victim of someone else's manipulations. Montoya decided to go up against the children of Arkham herself. I admire her stubbornness, but she needs to stay out of danger. I totally agree with that. Hopefully, Gordon can convince her to stand down from her mission against the children of Arkham. But they're safely out of the way. I can handle the rest. I told Lucius to quit his job at Wayne Enterprises and come work for me in the Batcave. If Lucius is here, he could stay safe from the Penguin and develop more tech for pa Batman, which was smart. And I think that's all for now. Yeah. All right, let's see. This is updated, apparently. Too much for Batman? Oh, no. A GCPD task force intervened and attempted to attack on Mayor Harvey Dent after his car was run off the road by the members of the Children of Arkham last night. A witness stated that Dent fatally struck one of the Children of Arkham. Although the GCPD refused to verify the account, witnesses placed Batman on the scene, but only after the culprits escaped into the night. The GCPD has declined to comment on any affiliation they might have with the Master Vigilante. Batman has stood for justice during his short time here in Gotham. But this recent attack has citizens worried. What if Batman is unable to protect the city's leader? He can be expected to protect the public from the actions, or can he be expected to protect the public from the actions of the children of Arkham? Batman and Catwoman, friend of foes. As details following the mayoral debate continue to be released, one struck me as particularly odd. Batman was on the scene, but so was the mysterious Catwoman, the thief who broke into City Hall recently. The two were caught fighting atop City Hall after the break-in, and yet at the debate, they appeared to be working together. Are they partners or enemies? Batman has been a beacon of hope to the citizens of Gotham, but this recent development seems to show that the Bat may be more of a hypocrite than we may have, or that we have been led to believe. 
Batman even went so far as to save his feline companion after she was cornered by members of the Children of Arkham. It must be good to be friends with the Bat. Perhaps Mayor Harvey Dent should have donated to Batman to ensure his own safety. I, I hate how they're just dragging my name in the mud, bro. The Gothamite cited their relief at Dent's nomination. Imagine if Gotham had stayed under the thumb of Hill. He was a cancer on the city. I'm glad he's gone. Harvey Dent can actually raise our city up to where it belongs. It's not fair. A former Hamilton Hill supporter replied, what kind of city are we? If we're willing to elect whoever happens to have a pulse, there wasn't even a second option. We don't know how many people actually voted for Dent. Now that it mattered in the end, Dent's poll numbers were well over 70% following the mayoral debate. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Like, they didn't even have another option after him. Against the late Thomas Wayne, concerning his connection to mob boss Carmine Falcone and former Mayor Hill, citizens of Gotham have begun to ask for Bruce Wayne to resign as the CEO of Wayne Enterprises. While the deeds of Bruce Wayne have always been in support of Gotham and her people, the recent evidence against his father has only raised suspicions against Mr. Wayne and his company as a whole. No statement has been released from Mr. Wayne or his representatives, but unless action is taken against him, the city of Gotham will continue their demands for new blood within Wayne Enterprises. Things aren't looking good for me. They keep talking so much smack about me. This isn't good right here. This massive explosion. Chemicals found at Warehouse 133 was a similar drug to the one used at the mayoral debate. With the mayoral debate still under investigation, it's still too early to make any connection to the two crime scenes. That is not good, guys. All right. Well, what else can we do here? Is that it? Let's check the drive. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius That's the whole city. Thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. That's not good. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is what else they'd be interested in. Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Hmm. City Hall. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. That's not looking it's good. Back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. Man. I was really hoping it wasn't. Yes, yes, I know it takes time. But your statement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Give me a minute. Give me a Not minute. Yet. Let me keep looking at this stuff. City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased. Two weeks before the election. What? Excuse me? See, this is why we keep looking. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. Oh! This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. Wow! Record completely clean. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. 
This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. Do you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Yes. Considering the alternative, yes. Thank you, Gordon. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. Well, that's good for them. Let's warn Harvey now, guys. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. All right, let's see how this plays out. I hope we see Selena sometime soon. Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat. I'll be right out. What the heck is he doing? Not today. Stop, stop, stop. It has to stop. It's, it's happening. I uh, never got a chance to congratulate you. It was quite the acceptance speech. Oh, yeah, thanks. Now, I know you weren't thrilled about me getting back out there so soon. So I'm glad I didn't listen to you. Well, it's as good as it's going to get. This uh, is you know, why he shouldn't have left the hospital. This my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. Oh. The way it sounded. I'm glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? Wayne Tech is compromised. I just found out Wayne Tech is compromised. The children of Arkham are using it to track the GCBD. You could be next. But Wayne Tech is everywhere. If they can hack into it. That's why they have to be stopped. Leave it to me. Thank you, Bruce. He's got the coin in his hand. Damn it! Those children of ours can jump me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. God, I can't stop it. Be more careful. Harvey. You drew attention to yourself with that speech. You need to be more careful. Careful is what got us into this mess. Harvey Dent does everything by the book, to the letter of the law. But that isn't working. Sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. Now are you going to fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Curfews after dark. Checkpoints at every bridge. Mandatory identification cards. 24-7 video surveillance. No, Harvey, step out of it. We all need to step out of it. Whoa. Sorry. S sorry about that, Bruce. I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. The stress. It's just the stress. Man. Look, we're both under a lot of stress right now. We, we should be able to lean on each other. Stronger together, right? It's the only way. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. Man. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, it's all over. Everything I've worked for. Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. 
Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. I am not happy about that whatsoever. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. I do love the voice acting for Harvey Vent uh, Harvey Dent, though. It's really good. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. Ow. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. She owes me one. Last time we talked, I gave her a pretty valuable tip. Sergeant Montoya's name. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Bale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name. True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Bale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who, who is this? Hello? A friend. A friend of Gotham. Yeah, just a concerned citizen wishing to remain anonymous. Or do I now have Batman for a friend? Maybe. For Gotham, then yes. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Oh, that was quick. All right, let's see what she knows. How is she getting these interviews? Are they real? Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were going to show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy, especially not when you're a reporter. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I didn't know this was going to be an interview. Fine. Will you talk now? Ah. Their there we go. It's picking up traction, especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? <laughs> it was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. You gave them a platform to promote themselves. You're helping them get what they want. What they want is an end to corruption. Something I've heard you claim to support as well. Yeah. Unless that's all just a rumor. She's not wrong. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I can't give you specifics. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced... Girl, I helped you! Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. 
No investigation. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. Oh, not stupid. I know you she have got me with him. That data drive Ooh. he gave me? That was from you. Ooh. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about She's it? She's good. What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? People want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. I need your help. <gasps> Please, Miss Vale, think what you want about Bruce Wayne. But I need to find the children of Arkham before they hurt anyone else. You're right. You upheld your end. There we go. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Come on, girl. You got this. Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Thank you. Skytrain Depot. All right, I guess that's where we're going. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far. They should be there. Hmm. Not for the moment. Means I have time to see what they've been up to. Now just be careful. We don't want any surprises. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. Alright, let's look around here. Let's check out the body first. Because it's not it's looking been too dead good. For a while, from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. Gunshot wound? He was shot dead center, twice. Executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. What's this here? Oh my god, look at that vein. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. Yeah, they're way worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? Good question. Let's keep looking around. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. Is that all I can look at? Oh, wait, what's this? A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Right. What stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one oh? of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. That's no good. Chemical barrels? These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. What else is around? Is that it? Oh, wait, there's something over here. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. 
This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. What's this Easy ladder? Access. The train car was raised to make working beneath it easier. They wanted to get this done fast. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. Okay, let's uh, connect this. Maybe with this? If not, then I know They've what it could be. So that it can be absorbed through the skin. Can I connect that with this? This wouldn't work. I oh, maybe not. Where their target is. Oh, where their target is? Okay. I think I know what that is. Break link. Okay. Um, Link this. With this. Mercy Station. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. I guess I need to link these two together. There's nothing else, right? No. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. Right. It could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. That's not good. Oh, oh, it's my friend. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have oh. worn more comfortable shoes. What? Woman? To the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll I have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two. Get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Yeah, she likes to play both sides, to be honest. She plays whatever side meets her needs. Currently, her needs seem to be focused on keeping all nine of her lives. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. Oh! <gasps> you might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. Oh, crap. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. 
It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation prize. No, sir. Oh, nice. Train's ready. Come out. Oh no, I gotta fight these guys. Ooh, that flying knee was nasty. Nice. Okay. There it is. Let's get him. Oh, nice. Ooh, ooh, got him. Get out of there, get out of there. <laughs> that guy was sorry. <laughs> he just tossed him aside. Let's get that. Wait, what? Don't get ahead of yourself. I decide when this ends. Okay. My man. What the heck is that staff? Face the truth sometime, Batman. You can't protect Gotham from itself. Oh, the sticky bombs. Fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. Saddest thing is, they don't even see the smoke. There's nothing you can do to stop it. The people of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. Sure. Just like the other Come on, Batman, you got this. Whoa. So short sighted. He's good. Or whoever this is. I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, nice. Get it. Oh, that's dope. God. Let's blow that thing up. Yes. Get the train out of here. Right now. Luckily, no one died. Oh, that's not good. <gasps> Catwoman, help. Nice. Oh. Hang in there. Don't pass out on me. We're not doing that. Come on, bats. Should have gone after it. Shut up. I'm going to get you somewhere safe. Just stay with me. He let us go, though. Who is this? Children of Arkham. Selena's apartment. Hold on. I know. Come on. That's not good. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Uh. 
Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. That's a good point. Because we don't know what side you're on. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible. And painkillers do not solve the problem. Yeah. You weren't going to take them down on your own. They would have killed you. Yeah, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly so agreeable. <gasps> uh huh? I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. I didn't know you were going to be there. I was there tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was going to be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. There is another way out. We can take them down together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? Oh. The dynamic duo fighting crime. Yes! <laughs> Being serious. I know. Things have a habit of not working out for me on the duo front. Oh, look who's back. Cute cat. I love cats. Hey, little one. I don't oh. think she likes you. No. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Hey, I promise I don't bite. Yeah, but she does. <laughs> Cut it out. I wonder how many cats she has. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Yeah. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something just beneath the surface. So what is it you're hiding, Selena? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see. Are you saying you don't trust me? I'm saying I probably shouldn't. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> now you've ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I had to go I'm ahead and say that. I've jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town. The high is nice, but it wears off. I bet. Then you look around and see... Nothing. So you get back out there. I mean, this apartment's kind of nice. Down. But it never amounts to anything, really. It's not the same, but... I know what you mean. After everything we do, everything we're capable of, coming home just feels... Like a disappointment. All right. Hmm. Oh. A 
let's just let it be. Keep going, keep going. I'm kind of here for it. I'm saying. I'll make it up to you. Oh. Like this? Not the hair do down. I have to do all the work myself? Or are you going to undo this for me? Oh, no, no, no. She just keeps going. Let me help you. Hmm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Oh, he! She smacked his head off. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm here. <laughs> Not the cat watching. The cat's watching is getting freaky. Oh no. Oh Lord. No. Okay. We got busy. Did you take a shower? Let me sneak out of here. <clears throat> and I had to take one last little look. Oh no, what's going on now? Can I walk around this place first? I'm kind of, oh, there's my, I want that back. I totally want that back. Darn it. Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if, if you were. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you anyway? I, uh, I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. <laughs> well, that certainly explains it. You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. <laughs> Sounded like you were. I wouldn't dream of it. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. She let me into her home. I'm not going to go snooping around in her personal belongings. I understand. Merely a suggestion. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. I did see that. It might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. I'm gonna snoop anyway. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. <laughs> Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? You sure about that? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's... Academic. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could use something like this. Maybe she could help out. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even a good place. Why do they always do that? They always think that, like, bachelors and bachelorettes eat Chinese takeout every day or something. This was an exhibit at the Gotham Museum of Art. 
I helped raise the funds for it. Lucius even set up new security for the museum. How did she get in? She's smart like that. You, you said it yourself. It was academic. Her cat eats like a queen while she's eating junk. <laughs> How do we know she eats junk? Bloodhaven. Vacation spots or just marks on her burglary checklist? We could go hang out with Nightwing. Should I open the fridge? Maybe she has some Chinese takeout in there. Bagels? In the fridge? Is that where a bag of bagels goes? Cream cheese makes sense. Hey, she's got the essentials. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. Hey, I uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's oh, no. a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. No, stay hidden. If you want me to go, I'll go. Stay hidden. But <gasps> I have oh, to get no. this out. Ah! Bruce, what the? Seriously. What are you doing here? I hit the button. I swear. No, I don't need to sit down, Bruce. Tell me what is going on. I just came by to check on Selena. What, with your pants off? Back off, oh. Harvey. Don't. Not Don't with your me. pants off. I thought I would come here and. I try. I hit the button, guys. I swear I hit the button. Stupid. God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? I shouldn't have come. <laughs> so stupid. None of this is about you, Harvey. It's... I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. God. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. Are you ready to die on that altar? I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Thinking you could do what Harvey couldn't! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it. No. No. Oh god, this oh is my god. to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey. <gasps> all right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's We have to fight him? Day. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with that. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who oh, am I? Yes, you are. Harvey, you are our friend. We don't want to fight you. And what if I do? Oh, <gasps> no! Jesus, Harvey. Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No, no, it really isn't. Oh, no. Selena, looks like you're first. Whoa, no, sir. Chill out. He's getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. No, it Wait. hasn't. You dummy. No, I don't want to hurt you. This isn't. They turned their backs on you. Oh my God! Please don't pick up that knife, bro. Come. Harvey, put the knife down. Harvey, come on, man. Selena. 
No. He's Jesus. You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? No. He's not gonna stop. Let's wear him down. You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Oh God! Come on. Come on, man. I got my fists up. Come on, Harvey. That's enough. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, God. Please. I don't want to be alone, Bruce. Please, not with him. Man. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. No. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> Man. So much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. That's what I get for wishful thinking. You're just gonna take off. Where will you go? I don't know. Not a lot of apartments in Gotham with this kind of private access. Ugh. Private access? Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> on a boat. Yeah. That means you too. She only has one cat. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Why not, guys? Why not? Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Dang. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. She's right. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. Am I going to do that right now in this episode or is it over? Oh, we might. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. No, it's not. No, it's not. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. Ah! Uh. be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. This is what is best for Gotham. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. 
That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. Already then? We are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. The beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. Oh, you'll remember this. Does have all the elements. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Should I do that? Good I don't morning, know. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Technology. Me. Taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. Oh dear. Not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Uh, perhaps. But at least I get the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. You know what? Let's play it cool. Step towards making He's trying to get under my skin. It'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings. Let's not get emotional about it. What you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're going to have. All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it, aren't you, Bruce? I know you're lying, Oswald. You don't know anything. I wouldn't lie about this, I promise. Story's too good for that. But suit yourself. I don't and trust now, him. Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. We're sticking to the teleprompter. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, He's trying to get under my skin. I don't like it. Time you really have left. I think we should play it cool. Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you, but I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. Okay, we'll, we'll go along with that. I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. With that, I am excited to announce... Oh. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. Mr. Wayne, are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot, an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. The company's in great hands, Oswald Cobblepot. Oh my God, they're making it just like drag on. Come on, I just said that he was good. The company is in great hands. Oswald Cobblepot will lead Wayne Enterprises in Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. And with that, Oswald Cobblepot. You started to be a good dog in the end, didn't you? Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Great words from a great man. I would first like to express my deepest gratitude. I'll let them have their W. 
Nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. I am extremely grateful. It's an easy thing. Dropped your pen. That's not. <gasps> what? What the? That's the drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No, I am the children of Arkham. What? Time you knew my real name. No way! There's no way they just did this. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking the smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away. You because none of them know who he really is. What the I heck? I believe you if you told them. I I didn't see this coming. This is nuts. The man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. Someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. What the heck? Justice. What are they doing to me? No way. No freaking way. Bro, there's no way they just did that. There's no way they just did that. That was a bomb. That was a bomb. That was nuts. Did you help Montoya or Mayor Dent? Looks like 60% agreed with me. They did the same thing. Bro, this is ridiculous. This game is absolutely ridiculous. Did you punch Oswald? Looks like 68% didn't. Did you ask Lucius to stay at Wayne Enterprises to come work for you? All right, I'm in the minority there. Is romance Selena 90%? Jeez. I told you, people love a love story, man. Did you beat up Harvey or take it easy on him? Okay, so it looks like a lot of people took it easy on him. All right. Well, let's see what's going to happen next time. This is crazy. So that means he's going to go beat up Oswald Cobblepot. He's going to beat up the penguin. Hopefully not kill him, because that would be against the code. But even just him beating him up wouldn't be a good look After on TV. His shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. Oh heck no! That is why, regrettably, he's not wearing his mask I anymore. The decision to have my old friend hospitalized. In Arkham Asylum. That's crazy. Batman, the children of Arkham, the penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham citizens deserve to be safe. That they deserve to be protected. Look at Alfred's got a gun? Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham. What the heck's going on there? We need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? Well, this was it for the first three episodes of Batman Telltale. Let me know how you guys feel about this game thus far. I feel like that twist was insane. I did not see that coming. I didn't know Vicky Vale was going to be Lady Arkham. That's nuts. I put all of my trust in her, bro. I put every little ounce of trust in her. You guys saw and it backfired on me completely i shouldn't have i shouldn't have done it shouldn't have trusted her but i did and that's my l hit that like button if you enjoyed comment down below your thoughts and subscribe if you're new i really do appreciate it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time hope will never die Orale.